Hey, what's up, YouTube? And thanks for watching another episode of Chris Glides. First of all, I want to thank Matt Sweetland. His uh, Instagram is Swedes01, and you can find him on YouTube at Full Tank Adventures. Check him out, watch his channel, check his Instagram out, subscribe or follow, follow his and subscribe his, uh, his uh, YouTube channel as well. But I want to also thank Harley Davidson for sponsoring me for this video. Thank you, Harley Davidson, for the merch that you sent today. And also, thank you for the windshield. Today, I'm going to be installing or changing out this windshield. And I'm going to be installing the new 10-inch uh, wind splitter by Harley Davidson. This is going to be going on my 2023 Harley Davidson Rogue Glide CVO. So, let's do this together, you guys. Here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this T25. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove all four of these screws right here and the windshields will come right off. Just wanted to stop and show you what these new ones look like. They have some, uh, it's the screws and then it has like this uh, rubber insert that helps to uh, keep this secure and vibration free. And so just wanted to show you that. So I do have all four screws out and the windshield doesn't fall. It kind of sits in these little guide um, carriers, I guess. I'm not sure what the proper name is, but so this is exactly what it looks like when you just pull the uh, windshield off easy peasy. And um, it's just gonna be those four screws. So in the contents of the box that you'll receive, you're gonna have your windshield. It's gonna be properly packaged in a box and then properly wrapped. Um, you're gonna have one page of instructions. As you can see, it was pretty easy just removing it, but you will have um, one page of instructions and you will have um, a torque spec on there as well. And um, so they have the various different sizes. They have a four and a half, uh, well, 4.5, a 10 inch light smoke, a 10 inch clear, a 12 inch light smoke and a 12 inch clear. And these are all the part numbers that um, are listed if you're interested in buying all the various sizes. I am five foot 10 inches, and what I'm gonna be using is the 10 inch splitter because everyone else about or taller than me has already tried the 12 inch and they recommended the 10 inch. So I do have the 10 inch smoke and just taking out the uh, wrapping and I'm gonna go ahead and um, sit that right on the bike, just like that and put it right in those uh, guided areas and it just sits right on there. That's how easy it is. And um, the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the screws in that I have. I'll go ahead and hand tighten them first and um, I will use my, uh, well, I'm not gonna even torque, I'm not gonna torque spec this because I'm not gonna over tighten it and I'm not gonna under tighten it. Well, let me say I'm not gonna do it. I am gonna do it I'll do this proper. So it's gonna call for, um, it says 30 to 40 inch um, pounds for the uh, for tightening 31 to 40 inch so I'll do that I do have a torque wrench for that and it listed in Newton meters as you guys saw so I'll be right back so I'm getting my uh, torque wrench out and I'll have to adjust my settings and I'll be ready in just a second all right so I know you guys are kind of bored watching this video but uh, at this time, I'm torquing it. When you hear like the one snap, then that means it's time to, from the actual torque wrench. That means it's it's on there. Don't keep tightening past that. That that's the sound. Each torque wrench has a different sound to it, but don't keep doing the. Uh, if you like the sound, don't just keep doing it. Don't keep cranking it up. There it is. There we go. So just one ugga dugga is what uh, Steve from SIK or Sick Baggers, that's what he calls it when you're using your torque wrench. Do your proper settings, tighten down. So that's going to do it for this episode of Chris Glides. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you again, Harley Davidson. And uh, thank you for Matt um, Sweetland for, uh, for all the help. Thank you, Harley Davidson, again, for sponsoring this project for the One Shield. And uh, so, so far on this 23, guys, we have the windshield, we have the highway bars, and I think those highway bars, 
you know, I couldn't find this uh, series to match, but I think the Empire went well with that. And um, so I went with the Bent Elbow um, Air Breather. This one's like the uh, Extreme Breather. And we installed the highway bars and we also installed the uh, six by nines. We had the six by nines um, flashed, the radio was flashed. We had our first service done. So we're all set on that. And um, so tomorrow I'm gonna be taking this on another adventure, another road trip, just a one day or we're gonna ride up to New Jersey and back on a long trip. So, oh, we have this piece right here that's added on. And um, so that's pretty much all we have so far. I have the um, exhaust on order and just waiting for that to come in. We're just going with the mufflers this time, no headers. And so those mufflers that match are gonna be by Chromeworks. And those should be in any day now. So I'm gonna take a trip down to my Harley Davidson dealership and just kind of see if they actually just came in. I'm sure they would have called me. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna go holler at Randy or Sterling and just see what's up with them, see what's new, talk to, uh, some people in there oftentimes run into subscribers when I'm in the locations there. So as you guys know, like who's been watching for a while, kind of confused with the garage setup, I decided to stop doing the bikes on that side and move them over here. I had some more room and um, I've been working on other people's bikes too. So I needed more room in the driveway. And um, I was waiting for the Tesla Model 3 Never, not the Model 3, I'm sorry, I'm tripping. I was waiting for the Tesla um, truck, the uh, whatever it's called, the Cybertruck. It never came. I got tired of waiting, so I went on and uh, grabbed this Audi. It's um, Audi e-tron, and it's all electric, and it's pretty cool. So I'll do a review on that if anybody's interested. But um, I went on and uh, got rid of the vet because it's just sitting over here taking up space. So now I have more room for bikes. <laughs> but anyway, all right, guys, I'll um, let you know how this electrical adventure works out. And um, maybe if it doesn't, then we'll just run it over with the Jeep. So <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Chris Glides and Low Rise. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.